Kern County Public Health says a person diagnosed with measles has been confirmed to have traveled through Kern County while infectious and possibly infecting others. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells us now where that person stopped while here and what you need to know. At 11 o'clock last Sunday morning, the person infected by the measles stopped at the McDonald's restaurant in Delano on Willems Avenue. Yeah, it's really scary. It's shocking that somebody could come in here and... It's a highly contagious disease um, which spreads through the air. Infect others. Health officials highly recommend that anyone who has not had the measles receive two doses of a measles-containing vaccine, such as MMR or MMRV. Measles is a vaccine-preventable um, con infection. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend children receive their first vaccine at 12 to 15 months of age, then can receive their second dose of the vaccine 28 days later. And so anyone who might have been in that McDonald's at the time um, and is not protected uh, for measles infection uh, potentially is exposed, potentially could have, you know, contacted measles. Laura Castaneda says the restaurant is a very popular place for families in Delano, and today she's thanking her lucky stars that she and her daughter went to the restaurant on Saturday. Well, that's sad because everyone comes over here to eat, and everyone in the family, so that's that's dangerous. And the Kern County Health Department warns anyone who may have visited the restaurant on Sunday between 10.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. may have been exposed to the disease. And you should watch out for symptoms which include fever, cough, red eyes, runny nose, and a rash until February 15th. It could take up to 21 days before it's evident that you have um, been actually infected with measles. Measles can develop into pneumonia and cause life-threatening complications. Um, any symptoms, I'd say get to the hospital and get checked out and I advise all parents to get their children immunized. However, public health officials say if you believe to be infected, do not enter any health care facility without first notifying them that you have been exposed to the measles and are now showing symptoms. Mark Christian, 23 ABC.